Hello, you're welcome. You're welcome onto my channel today, and it gives me great joy to observe you are in this video. I am Dr. Lion Kakpale. I am a lecturer in the university. I am a public speaker. I'm a life coach. I'm an academic. I'm a scholar. On this channel, I do a number of stops. Uh, all these stops I do, you can easily cluster them into four. Sociology, research, migration, and relationship. Meanwhile, if you subscribe to this channel, if you haven't, what are you waiting for? Can you go ahead and tap the subscribe button on your screen? Click the subscribe button on your screen and subscribe to this channel. If you have subscribed previously, thank you very much for staying tuned. Today, the title of this video is How to Avoid Becoming Homeless Abroad. And this topic is particularly very important because anybody can become homeless. Not because some are lazy, not because some are just bewitched, but some people just find themselves on the street homeless. And this is very important because across the world, homelessness is becoming very popular. In the United Kingdom, over 4 million people are homeless. In the, in the United States, hundreds of thousands of people are on the street, homeless. In Canada, Australia, Europe, many people are homeless. And all of these countries, it's not uncommon to find people living in, in car parks, living, you know, on the streets. Many live in train stations, many live in bus stations in the cold, in harsh weather, exposed to numerous criminal vulnerabilities. So, and this is very important for you to know that anybody can fall into homelessness, and it's very common from Canada to all over the world. So that's why you need to view this video to the end, because everyone is vulnerable, including you. So if you just want to move abroad, or you're already abroad, I encourage you to view this video to the end and send it to others abroad. Why do people become homeless actually? Some are careless, then some don't plan, some are lazy, some are on drug, some are too sick to work. Many also, uh, many lose their jobs suddenly and, and they find themselves on the screen. So there are so many reasons. But some, it's not because of their carelessness, it's just because things happen to them. So that's why even you, you need to be very careful. So if you are just moving abroad, you have to be very careful. Whether you are abroad already, or you are not there abroad, there's a need for planning. Plan not to be homeless. That's very important. You need to have strong plan in place to have, make sure that you are not homeless along the line. The, and the plan must be very objective and must be cocksure. So strong planning is BC, Homelessness as one of the risks that you face. Because if you already have mortgage, or do you have mortgage, it's just a split second. Something happens, you just lose your job, or you just there's something that just happens here on the street. So there's a need to, for careful planning. Plan never to be homeless. And there are there are things you can do as you plan. Number one, the things you have to do aside careful planning, as part of careful planning, is that if you go get a job abroad, get a job out of the major cities. Get a job out of the major cities. It's not compulsory. If you are in the UK, it's not compulsory that you live in London. It's not compulsory you live in Maryland. It's not compulsory you live in Manchester. Live out of town. Live out of major cities. You can move to Midlands or some other places that are not so popular. You know, and cost of living tend to be tend to be lower there. And rents tend to be lower there. If you are in the United States, it's not compulsory you live in New York City. It's not compulsory you live in Washington, D.C. Or if you are in Canada, must you live in Toronto? Is it compulsory? Or if you are in Australia, must you live in Sydney? So many of all these countries, you just have to try and get to areas where rents are affordable. By the time you are spending 40% and more of your earnings on rent, you are moving towards homelessness. So you must be able to be sure that you live in those areas with low rent. Or, you know, and living out of major cities. It's a major thing you have to consider because rents tend to be astronomically high in some of those. So, and there's so much pressure. 
on some of those uh, some of those houses in the major cities. It's not uncommon for you in the major cities to be looking for houses and you just can't find houses. Even when you have your money. You know, this, you know, I, I move around and recently I was in I was in some countries where people have money to rent houses, they just don't find those houses. Even when they see some vacant houses to get there, they see queue of 20, 30, 40, 50 people coming to inspect the same house they've come for. Definitely the man will drive the cost to be very high. So moving out of the major cities is a major a preventive measure for becoming homeless. So, uh, and again, get a permanent job. Sometimes people, you know, temporary jobs tend to have more money sometimes. Get jobs that are more stable. Even if the if the pay is not so is not so competitive, it's not so high. You know, having a stable job sometimes gives you stability in terms of being able to provide your rent now and in the future. So try to get stable job, even if they are not so if they are not so high paying. But the stability of the job can really can really help you and it's very important. Then consider shared apartments. Even if you can afford to live alone, whether with your family or yourself, consider sharing an apartment with people of like minds. Don't forget, anyone can be homeless. So if you share an apartment, it serves two purposes. Number one, it reduces the amount of money you pay on rent, so you can put savings. Because another thing you have to do to, pro to prevent being, being homeless is to save. People can say, hey, there is no saving, you know, cost of living is so high. I believe you determined to save. You can cut down on some things you think that you cannot do without and put some money beside, you know, so that you are able to meet your rent in the short run and in the long run. And you can afford to get a mortgage and pay your mortgage easily. Because if you default on mortgage, you are, you are, you are planning, you are moving towards homelessness. So shared apartment is very important. So it brings down the amount of money you pay on rent now and you put some aside for the future rent, you know, and you can open an account rent, you know, like that. And not if you share an apartment, you build more network, but you must check the people, the background of people you're going to be sharing an apartment with. That's very important, so you don't live with wrong people. So it's very important, they save, like I mentioned, and don't, don't spend too much on your rent. Then work on your credit rating. This is very important. Because if you have good credit rating, you're not likely to end up on the street because you will always have creditors coming to your rescue if, if you want to get to, you, to the, on the street. So, but many people don't work so hard on their credit rating. Make sure you have strong credit rating. So even if homelessness comes knocking, your creditors can assist you. Please make sure you don't damage your credit rating for any reason. So work on your credit rating and at the same time, use your networks. You know, one thing that people do that I've seen across the world is that people don't use their network. Even they develop in Europe, in the United States, in Canada, in UK, Australia, all these developed countries. People say it's too individualistic. I heard that a lot. You know, people, somebody was talking to me the other day, the other day I said, Germans are too individualistic. They are selfish, they don't help. But I know many Germans. Who help? Who, who, who still listen to you? So don't say people don't help. People still help. So and try to seek help on time. Don't weather the storm alone when people can help you. If you see homeless men coming, reach out to organizations who help vulnerable people. Seek out, seek out organizations who can help you in your period of home, a battle to be homeless or when you are homeless. You know, and talk to friends. Talk to you know, people around you, talk to family members, many people on the street needlessly. So seek help. Use networks. In sociology, we call networks social capital as important as money, even more important than money. So seek help. Don't suffer this all alone. So another thing you need to do is that take proactive action, immediate action. If you see that you are approaching homelessness, Try as much as possible and take immediate action. You know, seek, act, take action immediately. Don't wait till the problem gets out of hand. So seek help on time and save for the rainy day. You know, people live by the day. I see people saying, uh, 
Christ not saving, and they live as if today is the only day that matters. No, save for the rainy day. See, now that you are working, if you are working, save for the rainy day. And make sure you get accommodation below your penny, always below 40%. I know in many countries, 40% will take your rent, will be on rent, but try as much as possible to live below 40%. Don't do 40% and above. You know, 40% can be maximum you are able to pay on rent. Otherwise, move, change location, share the apartment, and do some other things. I hope this helped, you know, and this is very important for you to note. I pray you are not homeless and you will never be homeless, but take action, follow all of this. And remember, anyone can be homeless. It doesn't matter how much you earn now or what you do now. Until I see you in my next video, subscribe to this channel and share widely. Bye for now.